welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to display the consent form before displaying any ads from google admob for european countries in native android application so let's get started first step which we have to do is we have to come to google admob next we uh, so this is for android so i will just create an app so go to apps uh, add your first app android i have not deployed it to play store i'll just click on continue i'll just name it as first app but you can give a, it a proper name i'll click on add app then i'll click on done and uh, now uh, depending on what ad you are showing uh, you might want to create an ad unit for it so in this tutorial i am creating an interstitial ad so i'll create an ad unit for it uh, for testing purposes i will just use the test ad from the ad mock documentation but i'm just showing you how to create production ads as well so i'll just select interstitial uh, my interstitial again give a proper name uh, okay and i'll click on create ad unit now you can just copy paste this code uh, copy paste this ad units inside your code so i'll just click on done for now uh, next what you'll have to do is uh, so i have written all the steps for creating the privacy policy so click on add privacy policy so firstly what you will have to do is uh, <clears throat> you will have to add some privacy policy to your app as well so maybe some web view or uh, just uh, inside your settings page you can add some privacy policy so that is very important so i won't uh, do that in this video uh, like because that is a simple basic thing which you can do it on your own then you will have to click on uh, privacy and messaging uh, okay uh, then click create for european regulation so i'll just click on create uh, then we'll click create then we'll have to click on get started so here you uh, as you can see they have mentioned that add a privacy policy to your app so you can add that uh, the, here I will just click on get started then click create a European regulation message so I'll just click on this and here uh, if you want so here you can see uh, this is the setup for it if you want you can change it like the styling you can change it however you want to the targeting you can change it however you want to uh, but yeah I'll keep everything as default but the important thing is you will have to select your app over here so that's why i have created my app uh, at the very first time and i'll select my app also here you will have to add some url so make sure you add some url as well so uh, for now i will just add https colon slash slash make sure you add a proper url uh, maybe your website url or your business url something like that okay uh, not google maybe coding with nobody.com nobody.com okay i'll click on save uh, i'll also make sure i'll uh, click this add unit deployment as well uh, do i have to add privacy policy okay add privacy policy in the do not consent select on <coughs> okay i'll click on the uh, i'll uh, just make sure i think the add unit deployment may be for production purposes uh but uh, yeah for now i'll just keep it as off i'll click on confirm uh then uh, select your app add privacy policy and do not consent select on okay so here you will have to select on then you will have to click publish so just click publish I'll click ok and also uh, one thing to note is that once you now i will show you later on uh, in the output that how the consent form looks like but the once you uh, once the user accept a consent it only lasts for one year that is the important part uh, so yeah let's now move on to the demo part okay now coming back to the output so here i will what i'm doing is that i'm installing the app first now as soon as the app is installed uh, you will see a consent form and the consent form does take some time to load it is not Im loaded immediately uh, so yeah we'll wait some time uh, because it is an asynchronous process uh, once the consent form loads now this is only for eu okay uh, so 
uh, EU countries and uh, given that I am uh, I don't stay stay in Europe so I am stay in Asia but it is possible for development purpose you show this form uh, just for testing purposes which I will show you uh, later on how to do that uh, so first of all what I'll do is that I will uh, make sure I'll uh, click on this uh, consent button so I'm giving the developer okay do show me ads so I will click on consent now once the user gives a consent then we are trying to load our ad which also takes some time so here you can see i'm displaying a toast message that okay on ad loaded now once i click on show ad uh, it will show the user the ad uh, now what i will do is that i will just uninstall this application again and i will click on do not consent okay so i will reinstall it uh, once i click on do not consent uh, then uh, uh, like as per the documentation what it says is that you will have to uh, show a privacy uh, like inside your settings uh, you need to have a button uh, where in which you will uh, tell the user okay you need to accept the privacy policy or the consent form whatever it is uh, okay so here uh, here is the form okay i'll click on do not consent now if i try to click on show ad i'm getting an error message because the ad failed to load okay now instead of showing this toast message what you can uh, tell the user you can display a pop-up that okay you need to accept this consent form first and redirect him to the settings page something like that so i have kept it simple i'm displaying a toast message but you can uh, display uh, uh, like a dialogue or a pop-up message that okay you need to accept the consent form and uh, once I click on this show, suppose the user is redirected to the settings page or somewhere wherever you feel comfortable and once he click on the show consent again, then he will see that form again. Now again I will click on do not consent, I will click on show ad, okay same thing again. Now I will click on show consent again and now I will accept the cons, I will click on the consent button and again the ad does take some time to load because the consent form was just accepted and now if i click on uh, show ad here you can see the ad was loaded so that's how the process is what i will do is i will show you guys all the code which i have written then we will also check the documentation to give you a better idea about it so uh, here as i told you previously i am using interstitial ad but you can use banner ads or whatever you want to uh, the process of uh, displaying the consent form remains same and once the user has accepted the consent form then you can display whatever ad you want to so first what you will have to do is uh, so we will just uh, like i will just show you what all things i have done then we'll uh, go through the documentation so first go to create a native android application and i'm using the old xml views layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose next uh, here you can see i have added this user messaging platform so this will help us to display the consent form and second is this gms play services ads which help us to display any types of ads next uh, inside uh, activity underscore main here you can see i have just taken two button uh, not not much and next inside android manifest.xml the the thing which i would recommend is like here i am using test id but like just now i have showed you how to create production id at least for the first run make sure you use production id because i have noticed that sometimes your test id um, it doesn't work because we need later on we need the device hash id because if you are not uh, re residing in uh, uh, european countries uh, you still need to de display the consent form for development purpose right so it's i think it's better just for the initial purpose use a production id but yeah don't use the production id too much otherwise your ac account might get ban banned so here you can see i have added this metadata tag and i have also added this to metadata tag for optimizing our ad loading also i have added this hardware acceleration i think no hardware acceleration is not required for interstitial ad so you can ignore that next uh, i have created this google mobile ads consent manager so uh, here uh, like i have just copy pasted it from the documentation so first we have to provide the user messaging platform as a one solution to capture consent for users in gdpr impacted countries okay and here we have created an interface definition on a callback to be invoked when uh, the consent gathering is complete and here we are created a helper vari variable just to check whether can we request ads or not and here i have created another helper variable to determine if the privacy uh, option form is required or not and here is uh, we are gathering the consent so if you see like you should not add this bit of code in uh, uh, while you are deploying it to production or while you are deploying it to play store 
you only need to add this if you are like for development purpose because i reside in uh, an asian country which uh, like for me it is it would be very difficult to test if i don't add this so again i am telling you like this is for testing purpose only you should not uh, make sure you should make sure that you remove this while you are deploying it to your app to production also here you can see i have purposefully set the geographical area as european countries also you require this test id so what you can do is you uh, you might not be knowing your test id at the start right so just keep it as empty once every once all the code is completed you can run your application and you can open the locket and in the locket you should see something like this uh, so you just search for this new con uh, consent debug settings dot builder had the test device hash id and here uh, it will show you the hash id for you so which you can just copy paste so for the initial run or the first run you can keep the hash id as empty or just empty strings once you get the hash id you can copy paste it and run your app again okay and here you can see i have added some params as well here we are requesting an update to the consent information that should be called on every amp launch and also once the user has accepted the consent do not store it inside a shared preference or inside your app uh, like you should call this every time uh, the user opens the app if the user has accepted the uh, consent you will get a callback as true uh, and you uh, it won't be displayed to the user again i think the consent uh, uh, acceptance is for one year period but it might change in future that's why it's better not to keep it inside shared preferences or any other local storage and this is a helper method to call the uh, ump hdk method to show the privacy option forms and here i have created a companion object so that we only have single instance of our of this particular class next if you go to main activity over here so i have initialized our is mobile ads initialized called as atomic boolean false then i have created uh, this variable for our class as well google mobile ads consent manager then i am checking whether the ad is loading or not and i have created and as i am using interstitial ad i have created a variable for this now also i have created two buttons and i have initialized our two buttons and now inside the on create itself i am getting the instance of our ad manager uh, class and uh, if the consent error is not equal to null then we are initializing our sdk so that we can request our ad and uh, uh, we have also added one check to see whether is privacy privacy option is required or not and depending on that i'm ch uh, setting the visibility of our button because this privacy options required is uh, it is not required for non-european countries as far as i'm aware then here again i'm uh, calling uh, request ads for initializing our mobile ad sdk so this uh, attempts to load ads using consent obtained in the previous session okay and if over here you can see once the user clicks on the enable consent button i am calling the show privacy options form and if there is no error if there is any error i am displaying a toast message if there is no error then i am checking whether uh, the user has gathered his consent whether he has given the consent or not if yes then i am again calling the show interstitial uh, method and on show add button i am just calling show inter interstitial method as well now here inside load add you can see uh, i'm checking whether the ad should be loaded or not if it is not already loaded then uh, try to load it so here again i have copy pasted this from docs create a request for it here you should use a production id if you are deploying it to play store and here uh, this is how you load an uh, interstitial ad again this is everything is copied from doc and if there is any error i'm displaying over in the toast message and if you do if you immediately want to load the ad as soon as the uh, ad request has been loaded instead of calling this show interstitial button uh, show interstitial method in, uh, on a button click you can directly call it over here uh, okay so yeah uh so next uh, is the show interstitial method again i have copy pasted this from docs like these are helpful callbacks which you get and here we are just calling this show method and this is how we initialize our interstitial ad okay so yeah and here i have just created a companion object so now if you see the documentation so i'll just tell you the documentation as well so we have already added this to our dependency we have added this metadata as well and we are initializing our mobile ad sdk as well which you can see over here okay and next we are selecting interstitial ad also 
I want to tell you this optimize initialization and add loading so I have added this to metadata tags as well to my Android manifest okay next we will go to interstitial ads so implement into again you can select whatever ad you want to and over here you can see we have, so I will go to Kotlin and we have created variable for this and this is how we were loading our ad okay same we have added this screen callbacks as well so if you see over here I have added all these callbacks okay uh, and he, this is how you show the ad so that's it now for that uh, UMP like the showing the constant form you will have to come over here get started and here you it tells you that you have to add this dependency which we have already did and here you can see they are telling us the same thing like create this params and call this request cons uh, consent info update okay which we are doing as well so if you see over here so see see we are also doing this okay next uh, load and show a consent form if required so that's what they are doing over here as well which we have seen and requesting the ad so we have also created a boolean variable and we are similarly initializing our mobile ad sdk as well and uh, here is the privacy options required uh, so in case the user uh, declines the consent on the first attempt so that's what i have done and now here is the testing part so here you can see they have done the same thing they are telling us to add the device hash id which we have already done over here so you can again don't uh, remove this code for production while deploying it to play store and here you can force a geography if you don't uh, live in european countries so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching